to Deli Alley, through to Lucas Moura! Lucas Moura has fired Spurs through to Madrid, to the Champions League final! What was Lucas Moura thinking, fam? Lucas Moura, you absolute tit. I hate Lucas Moura, man. What are you doing? Why do we keep playing this guy? What was he thinking? The guy's shit. He should have left my club last summer. He comes on and just fucks things up. I don't know why we still keep him around. I don't know why he still gets minutes. Oh, okay, goddamn. From providing Tottenham fans with probably their best ever moment to this. 99% of the fan base demanding that he never play another game for them. How did it become this bad? Welcome to Football Reminisce and this is a sad decline of Lucas Moura. Lucas' football journey started at the age of 7 when he joined the academy of Brazilian side Juventus SP. He enjoyed winning a couple of trophies and impressed scouts throughout the 3 years. When Lucas was 10, Corinthians signed him to the academy on a 4 year contract. It was going well at the beginning but things became difficult pretty quickly. See, Lucas had to attend school in the morning then take a bus and two trains to get to the Corinthians facility. After a few months, the constant traveling and vigorous training became too much and this affected both his studies and football. On top of that, Lucas was tiny and frail compared to the other kids. He was shy and nervous. Like many other parents would do, they tried to find an alternative so they asked the academy to provide him with a nutritionist and accommodation. This was swiftly rejected and he was pulled out from the academy. Sao Paulo were interested but they had to wait a couple of years for his Corinthians contract to expire. So Lucas was forced to wait a couple of years before getting back to football training. After the contract expired, Sao Paulo invited Lucas and his dad to the training center. They liked the facility and Lucas joined the club. Unlike Corinthians, Sao Paulo provided proper conditions for his development. Transport to school, accommodation, a nutritionist and other basic needs. This saw Lucas football improve significantly and within 5 years he was promoted to the first team. In the 3 seasons he played for the first team, he scored 33 goals and provided 21 assists. He also got his first scholar to the national team at 19. He made 22 appearances in 2011 and 2012 and won the Copa Sudamericana in his final year with the club. It was time for a European move. Manchester United and Inter Milan both showed interest but it was PSG who won that battle. The French club splashed 45 million euros for the Brazilian talent. He went on to enjoy a five and a half year spell in France. He improved on his attacking tally in four of the five seasons he was there. In 2012-2013 he only scored zero goals and had six assists but the next few seasons five goals, 17 assists, eight goals, 10 assists, 13 goals, 5 assists and 19 goals and 9 assists in the 2016-2017 season. His numbers were pretty much incredible throughout his PSG career. He showcased his creativity in offensive areas, quick and exceptional in dribbling. He was also mobile, featuring as a right midfielder, a left midfielder, an attacking midfielder and as a striker forming incredible partnerships with the likes of Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Cavani and Di Maria over the years. He was also quite durable. This were his appearances between 2013 and 2017. He rarely missed a match, 15 trophies during his time with the club including 4 league titles in a row. Everything was going his way, he hadn't even reached his prime yet. It was time to test himself out in the English Premier League. In January of 2018, Tottenham signed him on a 5 year contract. He was joining a Spurs side that had just finished third in 2016 and second in 2017. Mauricio Pochettino had put together a team that could compete not only in the league but in the Champions League too. Kane, Son, Deli Ali and Eriksen had formed a formidable front four. Lucas was about to add to that. His first full season with the club was sensational. A brace in a 3 0 win away at Manchester United early in the season was a sign of things to come. What a performance from that man! Lucas Moura has arrived! An individual performance of the highest quality. He scored a late equalizer away at Barcelona to secure qualification to the UCL knockouts. In April of 2019, he scored a treble. No, no, no. Not the hat trick you're thinking about. This hat trick against Huddersfield. This was the first ever hat trick to be scored at the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The match ball belongs to Lucas Moura. His name was already in the record books. I don't even think he was ready for what was to happen next. Tottenham were aiming to reach their first ever European final, but that was looking quite the mountain. Spurs trailed 3-0 on aggregates, 
Ajax had lost just one out of the last 24 home games and there was no hurricane to help with the goal scoring. It looked over at halftime in Amsterdam. But Lucas Moura had other ideas. Two goals in three minutes got Spurs back in the game, but it looked like it was not going to be enough when the clock hit 95 minutes. But with the last kick of the game, Lucas Moura and Tottenham had done it, one of the best Champions League comebacks of all time and arguably one of the best individual performances by any player in Europe. Another fun fact, all three of his goals were scored using his weaker foot. He brought the fans to tears, the manager to tears, his teammates to tears, he was the hero, he was over the moon, nothing could stop him, right? Well, wrong. Unfortunately, this is where the downfall began. Less than a month later, the final. Despite the hat-trick and strong performances for most of the season, Lucas was left on the bench for a half-fit hurricane. This must have been disappointing for the Brazilian. He was one of the main reasons why Spurs had reached this stage of the competition. His goal against Barcelona put them through to the last 16 and his treble to the final. Tottenham went on to lose that final. Despite Pochettino leaving Lucas on the bench, he had done a lot for his career, but just five months after the final, he was sacked by the club. Pochettino developed Lucas' game a lot. He gave him stats. He always trusted him from the bench. Let's take a look at how many games Pochettino gave to Lucas and how many games he actually played after he left. 2018-2019, he made 37 stats and made 12 appearances from the bench. We will skip the 2019-2020 season as Pochettino was sacked midway. His appearances have continued to decrease the last three seasons. In the 2020-2021 season, he made 28 starts and 22 from the bench and half of them were in the cup competitions. In the 21-2022 season, he made 26 starts and 19 from the bench. And in the 2022-2023 season, he's only made 3 starts and 14 from the bench. On top of that, every time he has got a chance to play, he hasn't impressed. In fact, if anything, he has cost the team against both Everton and Liverpool and other underwhelming displays. Lucas has also been relegated to the under-21s team, which for an experienced player is not the best look. Ankle and calf injuries over the last year have also not helped. Now, a player can recover from all that, but one thing that is very hard to earn back is the trust of the fans. Many players have divided opinion of fan bases, but it becomes quite impossible to bounce back when 99% of the fans have given up on you. The fact that the club already announced that he would be leaving at the end of the season has also not helped. Lucas has just hit 30. Do you think he can revive his career or do you think the four years wasted have done enough damage? Do you think he can get another Premier League contract or do you think he will end up back at PSG or do you think it's time for him to go back to Brazil to finish off his career? Whatever happens, we wish Lucas all the best and hopefully for his sake he can get at least one more contract.